Welcome to another segment of Bars and Real Estate. I'm Jacoby. And I'm Philip Harris. It's where we take rap lyrics, break them down, and show you how they relate to real estate. There you go. Uh, one of my favorite artists out there. All right, so here we go. This, this is from his, uh, his al- not album, but song, Middle Child. I got a few mil, but not all of them rich. What good is the, what good is the bread if my boys are broke? What good is first class if my boys can't sit? That's my next mission. That's why I can't quit. Just like LeBron, get my boys more chips. Mm. All right, Phil, go into that's that. A, that's a lot in that bar. You know, we're going right. to focus on two things here. Um, and that first line, he said, I got a few mil, but not all of them are rich. J. Cole is basically speaking about, hey, I may have a little bit of money, mm-hmm. but the individuals that I love, my loved ones, my boys that are around me, they may not be there yet. So at the end of that bar, he talks about, so that's my mission. That's why I can't quit, you know, to make sure like what LeBron did, get all of my family, my mom, my boys, those close knit group of friends, make sure that all of them can eat. Right. Not only that, but all of them can have something of their own. And maybe not, you know, depend on me to uh, put food on on their table and feed their moms and their kids. So, exactly. you know, switching, you know, kind of segueing into the next topic. Jacoby, tell us a little bit about your story and how you, you know, left corporate America and, and, and came over here right. to Black Hawk Mortgage. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Mike Phil's in. My boy Phil went to school together, known each other for a minute. Uh, he stepped out. So, I'm a mentor for yeah. y'all that don't know. Le- left corporate. Yeah, I mean, dude. <laughs> Uh, proud of him, man. So he left uh, corporate America, started Black Hawk, started a platform, and uh, then we start running our deals by each other. I actually did my my mortgage with him, and I was with corporate America at the time, and we, you know, we talked each day, you know, just running deals by each other. And I actually any deal that I, that I couldn't do, I sent it to my boy, to let him eat. That's right. Build, yeah. build, build. So then after that, um, you know, we started talking. Like it feels like, hey man, you should come over here. Uh, with me and we, we rock it out uh so just last year uh it's been a little bit over a year now i left corporate america came over to black hawk man haven't looked back since it's been great so that's basically what j cole was saying what phil did he created a platform now that platform he's able to get his boys on he's great he's able to create a lifestyle for his family for his friends that was not there before and that's the power of ownership so Phil, Man, speaking about ownership, yeah. you know, ownership is big. How does that, you know, parallel of that entrepreneurship and creating a business or, or maybe not even that we always believe in that. And right. listen, everybody may not be an entrepreneur, but everybody can own. Right. Everybody can own real estate. Everybody can own something that's going to allow them to, which we'll talk about in other segment, take advantage of appreciation and equity and start leveraging those things. You know, right? Everyone, everyone's not gonna own their own company or own their own business. Or everyone may not be an entrepreneur at heart, but I'm a believer that everyone should own That's right. something. And what better way to own something than real estate? You got to live somewhere. Um, so real estate has a couple different uh, advantages. You can own your primary residence. You can even own uh, investment properties that has other benefits, passive income. You get appreciation, the equity, mm. and just having that platform of ownership just creates so much more. That's you right. Man. So much more right. owning versus not owning. And there's and there's you know another parallel of how entrepreneurship or maybe owning a business, you know, as well as owning real estate, run parallel from each other to each other. Is really you know there's many tax advantages and benefits of owning a business as well as having investment properties and and even your primary residence. There's also other benefits such as uh, I call it the triple play. That's right. Uh, we, we're gonna if you if you keep watching, we'll talk about it. But a triple play uh, is going to be appreciation. It's going to be equity, and then you have the opportunity also income. That's what real estate owning real estate creates that that triple play. That's right. Um, and me and my family, what I'm trying to do is uh, you know 
put my family and friends on, give this information out to people, show people how it's done, how easy <clears> it's <throat> done, and just mm -hmm. giving it and not even want anything, but just giving this information so others can kind of become owners and kind of create that, that legacy for their family and friends. So definitely, you know, you know, our word and my professional word as well as personal is take that risk, you know, create a platform that um, you can call your own and that you can maybe put your friends on or your boys or your family, whoever that loved one may be in your life that you want to support. Because unfortunately, you know, without ownership, like Cole said, you know, uh, you may rise, but it's hard to pull other people up. Exactly. That platform is so important. So I think that pretty much wraps up ownership. Um, yeah, so, man. so much more we could talk about, but I think that's good. Um, so always remember, more real estate. More assets. I'm Philip Harris. I'm Jacoby Harrell. Until next time. Check it out.